The entrance answer upon. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation, from age to age you are. Good morning. Today's Mass is said for the intention of Mary Lynn Finicky Rooney. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You will send to the far cry for Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to the sea falls, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effect of bodily discipline, our mind may be radiant in your presence with the strength of your our, our yearning for you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there, till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end by which, for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Amen. Responsorial Psalm. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be hurt because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your, uh, your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Gospel today was a passage from the Sermon of Jesus on the Mount. In this sermon, he instructs the crowd that they should not pray like the Gentiles, who always repeat the empty phrases. He means that a true prayer is just very simple. It does not need to have many words. Then he teaches the crowd a model prayer, which is also called Jesus' Prayer or Our Father. All of us should be very familiar with this prayer as we pray with it every day. This prayer speaks about having a relationship with God. The prayer begins by acknowledging who God is. God is our Father. The notice word is our, but not mine. Jesus is reminding us that this prayer is a community prayer even if someone say this prayer by himself. In addition, we are also not alone when we say this prayer. We are united with all those who are called upon God as the Heavenly Father. This prayer has two parts. In the first part, we praise and worship God in addressing Him as our loving, caring, and providing God. We promise Him that we do His holy will in our life. Then in the second part, we present our petition before the Triune God. Those petitions are our current need. Give us this day our daily bread. Our need in the past, forgive us our trespasses. And our need in the future, deliver us from evil. With the petition, we bring into our life the giant God, God the Father, the Provider, with asking the God the Father for daily bread, God the Son, our Savior, with asking God the Son for the forgiveness for our sins, and God the Holy Spirit, with asking the Holy Spirit for protection and delivering us from every evil. With no petition, God reminds us about the relationship we are called to have with Him. He is the Supreme Being, the ruler of heaven. Even though He is almighty and supreme, He chooses to have a relationship with us. He wants us to have an intimate way of communicating with Him. He reminds us that He speaks the divine word and makes things happen in our life. For this reason, let us continue to pray every day with Him in this prayer so that He can act and make things happen in our life according to our prayer and asking Him for us. With humble heart, we bring our prayers before the Lord. For all members of the church, may the power of God's word, word embolden us in bearing abundant fruit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For civic leaders, may the word of the Lord be the water that makes their labors fruitful and just. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who struggle with their prayer life, May they be comforted in the knowledge that God hears their distress and knows what they need before they ask. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconates in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. <coughs> Oh, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord now let us pray the prayer for the protection and healing from the coronavirus and our family prayer. Lord Jesus, you travel through towns and villages, carrying every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and health care professionals as they help the sick. Allow the vaccine to be successful in halting the spread of the virus. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Grant us peace in this time of uncertainty and challenge. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus. For you are our loving and healing Lord. Our Lady of Prime Sucker, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Rock, and St. Rosalie, pray for us family prayer. The loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our archdiocese have appreciated the prayers and love of our Lady of Prompt Succor in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this to Christ our Lord, our Lady of Prompt Supper, hasten to help us. Mother Henrietta Delisle, pray for us that we may be a holy family. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the book of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and book of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Praise my brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O greater, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is he truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, and with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. May holy and for this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new home, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of high blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen as asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit and be co heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe for all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion Antiphon, when I called, the God of justice gave me answer. From anguish you release me. Have mercy, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Amen.
let us pray. Grant us through this mystery, O Lord, that by our daily earthly desire we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him with humbly pray, and without the offerings of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into our state, and all the evil spirits. 